Welcome to our lecture online. The key concept of Bernoulli's equation that is that it actually represents work and energy. So here, let's think about it. Here we have a pipe that starts at a greater cross-sectional area, so let's call this a cross-sectional area A1, and this is cross-sectional area A2, and also A2 is at a higher elevation, H2 is bigger than H1, so we have difference in velocity, difference in forces pushing the the fluid through the pipe and notice that if we take a small section of the pipe right here and we know that we're applying a force over a certain amount of distance to push the fluid from this location to that location the same thing will happen over here and then of course as the fluid travels at some velocity the fluid will have kinetic energy and as it travels at different heights it will have higher or lower potential energy as well so the idea that Bernoulli's equation is written in such a way that each term represents pressure we can actually convert that equation so that each term represents either work or energy. And this is where that comes from. The concept of pressure is that it's force divided by area. And so therefore, if we then multiply both sides by area, we get pressure times area is equal to force divided by area times area, which is force. So force is pressure times area. And also the definition of work is that's force times distance. So if we take pressure times area, which of course is equal to force and we multiply times distance force times distance is work and area times distance that's actually volume so when we take pressure and multiply times volume we get the concept of work so what we're going to do here is we're going to take Bernoulli's equation and multiply both sides of the equation by volume to see what will happen so we're going to multiply the left side by volume which is basically a times d and we're going to multiply the right side by volume which is A times D. Now, let's see what happens. Volume times pressure, well, that's equal to work. That's equal to work done at this location right here by the force pushing this amount of fluid a distance D1. Plus, one-half times density times volume. Now, remember that density, by definition, is equal to mass times volume, which means that mass is equal to density times volume. So by multiplying the density, by volume we get the mass so this is one half times the mass and that would be the mass contained in this amount of fluid times v1 squared plus and again here we're going to multiply the density times volume to get mass so it would be mgh1 is equal to and we do the same on the other side this would be work done at location 2 by this force pushing this amount of fluid through the pipe plus Again, density times volume is mass, one-half times the mass times velocity 2 squared, plus that would be mgh2. And now take a look at this equation. This is again Bernoulli's equation. All we did was multiply both sides by the volume, and here we get work done at this location, plus this is kinetic energy of this amount of fluid at this location, plus the potential energy of this fluid at this particular location is equal to the work done by the force over here plus the kinetic energy of the same amount of fluid in the pipe over here plus the potential energy of the same amount of fluid at this location and notice what we have now essentially Bernoulli's equation is nothing more nothing less than the energy conservation equation except put into a format where every term is equal to pressure rather than every term being equal to either energy or work so in other words we can take the energy conservation equation divide both sides by v by volume and convert that into Bernoulli's equation where every term is in terms of pressure rather than in terms of work and kinetic energy and that's where Bernoulli's equation came from it's quite ingenious to come up with that, but really it was quite smart to think about it. And that is how it's done.